So let's take a look at this one. The formula says tangent of u divided by 2. So whatever your angle is, divided by 2 equals this formula. And I just picked tangent, and there's two different formulas that we use, um, Josh. But I'm just going to use this one for this case, OK? So it says tangent of u divided by 2 equals sine of u, 1 plus cosine. So we have u divided by 2, and then we have u. Here, it's saying tangent of 75 degrees, then equals what? Well, it says using the half angle formula. So what I'm going to then expect then is that 75 degrees is equal to u over 2. Okay. So since that's you know, the question proposed to us, we're using the half angle formula, tangent of 75 is going to be now my, my half angle. So therefore, I need to figure out what u is. Well, to figure out what u is, multiply by 2 on both sides, 150 degrees equals u. Okay? So now I know what my angle is, I can plug it through there. So I'll just simply write tangent of 75 degrees, which is my half angle, equals sine of 150 degrees divided by 1 plus cosine of 150 degrees. All right? So now the next thing is we seem to figure out, well, where the heck is 150 degrees on a unit circle and what are the values? So we really got to know our unit circle by this time. Come and take a look. We know here that's 180. So 150 is going to be right around there. So that's going to be 30 degrees less. And if I kind of think about my first quadrant, that's going to be uh, negative radical 3 over 2, comma 1 half is the point. All right? So now simply, ladies and gentlemen, remember cosine is my x value and sine is going to be my y value. So now all you do is you just plug it in. Tangent of 75 degrees equals the sine of 150, which is 1 half. Sorry. Sine of 150, which is 1 half, all over 1 minus. Well, I'm sorry, it's 1 plus, but since this is a negative radical 3 over 2, it's my, you know, I can change it. It's 1 plus negative radical 3 over 2. But what I was saying is, I can rewrite that as a subtraction problem, right? Plus and negative, same as a subtraction. Okay. So, now, ladies and gentlemen, um, we have a couple of these fractions, right? So how do we get the 2 off the denominator? We need to multiply everything by? The reciprocal. Could, yes, we could multiply everything by the reciprocal. The problem, though, with the reciprocal is the reciprocal of which one? And if you, yes, hold on, just hold on, yes, you're right. Well, hold on. If you multiply by the reciprocal, that means that radical 3 is going to be on the bottom, which would cause some concern. Just to get a number off the bottom, if your denominator is, is the same, you can multiply everything by 2. Before I multiply by conjugate, you could multiply by conjugate right here. But just to keep my math simple for right now, I'm going to multiply everything by 2. And the reason why I'm going to multiply everything by 2 is because it's just going to simplify everything before I rationalize the denominator. So I'm actually going to move my work over here. So therefore, I'd have 2 divided by 2 minus radical 3. OK? It's just a little bit simpler than I want. That's 1. Because you can solve it. Here, thank you. Sorry. It's 1. Thank you. Um, OK? Does everybody see that? See what I did? I just simplified the problem. Okay? Now we rationalize the denominator. Very good. So 2 plus radical 3 times 2 plus radical 3. Obviously, times 1, that's going to be on my numerator. This is a difference of two squares. So I can just simply multiply my first two numbers and multiply my last two numbers. And what I end up with is 2 plus radical 3 divided by 4 minus. 3, which equals 2 plus radical 3 is my final answer. Because that's obviously going to equal 1, right? And there you go. That's it. That's all I had to do. Yeah. Go on. 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 Go on